you guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to download Libby, which you need to use audiobooks and ebooks, and this is for an Android phone. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Play Store. From the Play Store, you're gonna hit the search function, and you're gonna search for Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, and it's Libby by Overdrive. It's usually the first one that pops up. And you're gonna install. Of course, you're gonna need an internet connection for that to work. So it'll install, you'll be able to see the progress. So you'll get the option to open it once it's installed. So if you select open, and then it will ask you if you already have a library card, just select yes. The next question, it's gonna ask you if you wanna search for the library or guess your library. It's not great at guessing, so just click, I'll search for a library. Then the search window will pop up at which point if you just enter in Ottawa for the city of Ottawa, so O-T-T-A-W-A. -T -T From there, you'll end up getting a list of different libraries. So you just scroll down until you see Ottawa Public Library and you select that. And then it's gonna ask you to enter your library account details. So you click that first line and then it's gonna say you need your library card number and you'll have to log in through a secure website so you just hit next at which point it will open up the secure website you might just have to wait a minute depending on your internet connection but it will load and then it takes you to a portal page where you input your barcode number and then your pin number the barcode can be found on your library card and from there you just hit login and wait for it to log in it might take a little bit and then from there, it shows you a little picture of your card. It says this is the card that's linked and you're just gonna hit the next button. And this opens up the app itself, the Libby app. So inside the Libby app to search, you can hit the preference button at the top. And then this is the search functionality where you can search the specific format that you're looking for. So you can search for audiobooks or eBooks. So just select what you're looking for. I've selected eBooks, and then you can select, select the language. There's a few different languages to choose from. So you can see you have different options. Just select what your preference is. So I'm gonna go back and select English because that's what I'm interested in. And from there, you can see there's different compatibility modes, but the main thing is you wanna check the availability. Check off available now. Otherwise, you might get material that has a hold on it or that's not available. So once you've searched, you get search results based on your preferences. So the first few things that pop up are just gonna be suggestions. So if you keep scrolling all the way down, you'll end up getting more specified genres. So you have fiction, nonfiction, juvenile fiction, fantasy, etc. So you can pick what you're interested in. I chose fiction. So then it gives you a number of titles and you can just scroll through the titles and note, remember we picked all titles that are available now. So these are all things that I can take out and read the same day. So scroll until you find something that you like and then press borrow. And it's gonna say you're boring this, you have 21 days because that's the three week period that we get. It shows you the card that you're taking it out on and then you press borrow again. Sometimes it takes a moment. Once it's loaded, you can hit open book. And then this will kind of be from cover all the way to the back cover of the book. So then you scroll through going right to left and you have the copyright there. If you scroll a little bit more, you'll get the table of contents. So you can kind of see what you're in for and you just scroll through until you get to your chapter one. So we have our chapter one here and again, to go through the pages, you just go right to left and you can enjoy reading.